coins. One of the most valuable resources in Hypixel Skyblock. So easy to make and yet almost every player thinks they have too little of them. In this video, I'll be giving you a guide from early game to late game on how to make the most coins at each stage of the game. If you enjoyed and found this useful, make sure to like and subscribe, and without further ado, let's get right into it. What's up guys, so I'll be dividing this video into two sections. In the first section, I will be doing a guide on non-Iron Man money making methods, and then in the section, second section of today's video, I'll be doing a guide for all the Iron Man methods. So I think the first method that I will be giving you guys is going to be early game non-Iron Man methods. Now for this, you guys will want to go to the hub and start farming the wheat over here. This will make about 600,000 an hour. But most importantly, it'll get your guys' farming skill up. Now, if we go to your skills, and we go to farming right here, I believe the garden will unlock somewhere around here, but I think actually the garden will unlock sky in skyblock levels. So you'll want to get skyblock level 5 from farming all of this, and the point of that is to unlock the garden. Now, in my opinion, guys, the garden is the best early game money-making method in the entire game. It's actually insane how much it makes. So if we go to my island... And then I think we have the garden over here. Yeah, we can talk to Sam to get to the garden. Now, I will say I have not really done too much on my normal profile for the garden yet. Um, but as you guys can see, I have a couple plots of pumpkins. What you guys will want to do for the garden is try to find the crop that sells for the most on Bazaar and farm that. Because for normal profiles, you guys are going to want to go with Bazaar over NPC since usually that makes more. Now, my gear guide would be the best gear for early game is probably melon armor so if, yeah melon armor right here it does require farming 25 but honestly farming here for a little bit you guys can probably get farming 25 in no time at all so i would just get farming 25 then get melon armor and already at that point you guys will be making around probably like two to three maybe even like five mil an hour if you guys are good at it and the next early game money making method i want to give to you guys is probably the best early game money making method besides uh farming and that is farming zealots now if we go to my setup here right here i have full terror armor there's no real attributes that you want to go for in particular you can basically get anything and if you guys really want to get a lot of profit i know they just killed a dragon so all the zealots are going to be on you can go into this place if you can one shot the zealot bruisers here it's honestly insanely good, and the reason you want terror armor, guys, is if you go with Juju Shortbow, you can actually shoot three arrows per shot. So I don't have a god pod on right now, so I'm really slow, but you can shoot three arrows per shot, which is going to allow you guys to kill these zealot bruisers much faster than any other zealot or any other weapon, and I would honestly recommend that until maybe fire veil wand but if we go look up fire veil wand let's see the current investment price of that that's going to be 14 million so if you guys want to get a good setup terror armor and juju shortbow really good makes about 9 to 10 mil an hour and honestly summoning eye prices are going up due to the new update so i would definitely get on this method you can probably even make 15 mil an hour once the update comes out anyways let's get into the mid game and late game methods Okay guys, for the mid game method, I have running floor 7s, and I know this is a little bit of a requirement. I don't have my golden necron head with me right now, I lent it to a friend, but if we go into my skills, I'm at kata 29 right now, I really have to get this to kata 30, because kata 30 is what I would recommend to you guys if you want to start floor 7s. Floor 7s are insanely profitable, and a lot of you guys know the main drops you'll be getting from that is stuff like the Necrons handle, 859 million, uh, 1 in 1,000 drop, 272 million, 263 million. So basically, you guys can end up getting like 200 to even like a billion coins in terms of profit from a single run. Now, Floor 7 is a lot of investment cost. You guys are going to have to get a lot of items and a lot of armor. And you're going to have to level up your skyblock level and your skills. So keep that in mind. And if you guys want, I'll make a full floor 7 guide in a future video. But yeah, floor 7, in my opinion, is the best mid-game method. I wouldn't really give you guys a money per hour because all of it's very RNG-based. But you guys can make some insane profit per run. Anyways, let's go ahead and get into, in my opinion, the best late-game methods in the current game. Alright guys, so we're in the forge, and I have my Devon's armor on, so you guys already know what this means. 
for this like late game method it's gonna be mining i mean mining it's no surprise guys it's like the best way to consistently make coins with npc and honestly mining is just so good at max it makes around 30 mil an hour my mining setup is pretty bad right now i'm running like full jaded devons i don't even have recoms on this and i'm still making around 15 to 17 million per hour so definitely keep that in mind but at max you can make like 30 to 35 million an hour and in addition to that what i would recommend with you guys for mining is go over to this forger guy always have stuff in your forge my personal favorite stuff to forge is like ore refinements because ore refinements tend to do really good so i would go into the refining section work on that and you guys can make a couple million from forge as well per day so honestly overall mining's pretty good a couple tips for mining i would recommend getting at least four million of each powder five million if you want to be good but at least get that per uh, type of powder. And right now, that is really easy. Before, you would have to get a lot more powder. Let's check my current powder. I don't think it's too high on this profile. Yeah, 3.8, 4.3. So I'm doing all right, but I certainly want to get that up. Once you guys are around 4 million to 5 million of each powder, you guys will be making an insane amount of money. So with that being said, mining is actually not the best way of making coins anymore. The last method is very hard to achieve but if you guys can do it i have heard that it makes over like 80 to 90 million coins an hour and for this method we're gonna want to head to the crimson isle let's go to the very back of it this is going to take some time without a god pot let's go to the very back of the crimson isle Alright guys, as we are reaching the back of the Crimson Isle, you guys will see there is a giant skull here, and this is used to run Kudra. Now, I already have all the quest line for this island completed, so I won't need to do this, but if we go ahead, talk to this guy, you'll be able to run Kudra. I only have uh, the hot tier unlocked, I really have not done that much like progress on this profile that's kind of my newbie profile but uh you guys can go ahead and run kudra in a good setup i've heard if you're efficient with it and have a good party it makes like 60 to 80 million an hour sometimes even like 100 million an hour so i would definitely recommend that but since those are all the normal money making methods i have let's get into the iron man money making methods next where i'll actually be able to talk about stuff that i really know Alright guys, I'm on my Iron Man profile now, as you guys can see, already looking better, um, but the beginner's, like, money-making method that I used on Iron Man is not actually gonna be Garden, you guys. I think there is a better money-making method than this, and that, you guys, is warping to the top of the nest and running down here. I don't think they're doing any in this current server, but you guys will run, want to run all the way down here, past all of these spiders, and down here, and if you go behind this pillar, oh, they actually are running some. So I'll be able to show you guys why this makes so much money. So let's go ahead, get our combat set on. And actually for this money making method, you will want to go ahead and equip a cow hat as well. So let's go ahead, get our shadow assassin armor and cow hat on. I really need to start on my Necron set. I only have Necron's boots right now. But there's only a couple other people here as well. So... If you guys see people saying that they're putting down Arachne crystals, you guys can go ahead and actually kill the Arachnes here. And you guys might be asking, why is this so good for money? Well, as you guys can see, this boss is going by very fast. The bosses probably, honestly, take maybe like 30 seconds total. And if we look at this, we got position number two. And let's look at the loot we got so I can show you guys why this is so OP. So, let's go into our inventory. Hold up. Let me clear out some of these spider eyes and stuff. But the main drop you guys want to be keeping an eye on is this soul string, guys. This is 155k to NPC in 30 seconds. That's about 300k per minute, which, if you guys do the math, is 18 million an hour. 18 million an hour. That is probably the best money-making method I have ever seen. And honestly, guys... I think this is like so good you can even go into mid game with this method 
and the only downside is that it is occasionally not that consistent now in this server we have a lot of people doing it so i would say it's worth doing honestly yeah so i'm gonna clear out my inventory so i can get this soul string as well because guys this is just so insanely profitable i don't even know how to tell you guys like this could be even a late game money making method but if you guys want something that's more geared towards mid game if you guys maybe aren't able to kill arachnes let's go over to the garden so i can show you guys where i've spent a lot of my time in this game i have so many hours logged on the garden let's get into our fermento armor and yeah the best crop that i have seen i did a video on this if you guys want to watch it it is my last video that i did but melon is the current best crop to farm for iron man players and honestly if you guys get a melon dicer tier 3 with fermento armor you can start making like 7 to 8 million an hour and even like 15 16 20 million once you completely max out your stats i'm at around like 7 to 8 million an hour at the moment so ragnes are better for me but if you guys actually want to get the best money making method on iron man it is mining there is no way around it unfortunately i kind of hate mining but mining is the current best money making method i'm still working on my devon set but hey it looks pretty cool overall so yeah i would recommend you guys get a full devon set heart of the mountain seven and four mil of each powder and even a gemstone gauntlet if you guys really want to maximize your money this can make you guys 30 million an hour once you guys are completely maxed out and that'll certainly be enough for floor seven slayers basically anything you'll need Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this money making guide. If you guys did, make sure to drop a sub as my goal is to reach 1k in my first month on YouTube. And we're already making some good progress there. So I hope you guys enjoyed and have a wonderful day. It's me, Mr. Mugma, signing off. Goodbye.